Hello and thanks for tuning into my channel. The reason I made this video is because I wanted to add a grid to the background of my MS Word document, but also I wanted the grid to be the same size as the grid paper I use in the real world, the stuff I buy from the stationery store. Everything I could find online, it only showed how to add a grid that had really small squares. I'll show you what I mean. So if you go to page color, you go to fill effects here, and there's a way to add a grid. You can change the color and everything, but the grid squares are so small. So everywhere I looked, I couldn't find anything on how, how to make this grid bigger. So I figured out a way to do it. And since nothing was posted online that I could find, I decided to make a video. So basically what I found out I can do is make my own texture. So I'll go back into fill effects. Now when you make your own texture, don't go to picture because when you scroll, it'll resize the image. I want the image to stay uh, relatively static in size when I zoom, of course. So what you do is you just go to textures, go to other texture. So I've already made my texture. I had to experiment with different sizes. This one is 30 by 30 pixels. And when that prints, it very closely matches the, the squares on the grid paper I use um, normally in real life. I'll show you how I made this in just, just a few seconds here. Okay, so now we have, now we have a grid. Now it does look like it changes size a little bit when I zoom and scroll, but for my purposes, it's accurate enough. And this way you can change the color of it um, as I mentioned, you can change the square, the, the line spacing and everything. So how I made this is I went into, you can go into MS Paint and just make an image the size that you need it. Let's do 32 by 32 pixels. So I'm going to show you the other paint program I use <clears throat> in just a second. Problem with this one is I, I can only zoom in so, so far. But basically all I'm doing here is drawing a line on the very top and the far left. Don't draw a line on the bottom and the right because then your lines will be double thick. So either draw a line on the top or the bottom and the left or the right, but not, not both. Just cover two sides. But anyways, I'll show you the other program I use. It's paint.net. Obviously, uh, Windows Paint will work just fine for this. Paint.net is, is even better. It's very cheap too. No affiliation to them, but I do, I do really like the program. And I think it's less than $10 from the Windows Store. It used to be free. So same idea. Just draw one on the left and on the top. And just experiment with the with the size of the image that you need. So basically all, all I would do is save this, place it in the directory that I that I grabbed that, uh, that texture from, save it as a PNG or JPEG. And then all you do is insert it. So I'll show you one more thing. I gotta go to options. Actually, I'm looking for print options. There we go. Okay, so this option right here in your print options, print background colors and images, you have to have this checked or it won't print your grid background. Obviously uncheck it if you don't want your grid to print. So when I made my first grid, I had. I used these rulers to get the approximate size right, then I printed it. It was a little bit off, so I changed the size of my image slightly, but I changed the pixel size. You know, you might you might, might need 30 pixels, 29 pixels, 31 pixels. 
you'll just play around with it and then you'll, you'll get the size really really close to what you need basically within one pixel of accuracy hopefully this method works as well for you as it did for me thanks very much for watching